Hello, Yong Seng. This is the 18th season, 5th lecture time. Good evening. Tonight, we are going to study AlphaGo versus AlphaGo games. The DeepMind shared 50 games. Have you checked it? I suppose all of you have checked it. Uh huh. How do you feel about that? I felt so excited and uh, impressed, shocked, and many other words I can put it. If you see something behind in that games, then you will get more interested in that uh, games. That's why I brought this uh, topic to share it with you. Let's check 1970s games. Uh, this is the game in the 1976, uh, which was played by Kato Masao and Odake Hideo. You probably know their names, right? legendary Japanese Go players in 1976. Okay. So you don't need to check deeply, just briefly check how it goes. This was the top level game. Now, after move 23, there was a first touching stone. Okay. And then, okay, uh -huh. white just jumped, not touching the stone, and this was the game up to the 36. Okay, how do you feel? It's beautiful, is it? Uh, there was no big fight, but they played in the right places. That was good. Uh, okay, let's check one more game. Mm -hmm. Not really practical, yes. And this is the game in 1968. Uh, 1968. The game, uh -huh. uh, Rinkai Ho and Fujisawa Shuko. Uh -huh. Okay, black. Uh, Fujisawa Shuko is black and Rinkai Ho is white. White extend, black extend, and okay, white saves the one stone to take the left side. Where would you play to increase this black's upper side? Now imagine where you would play, is it? At your game, black played this one. And if it is uh, your game, white, then where would you play to reduce it? White played this one, so black defended. This was the game, uh, the real game that what uh, the top level pro players played. If it was the modern uh, goal player's game, if it is my game, then I would have played something like this. So, can attach, connect. If I can use many center moves, I don't need to spend my turn for this area. So instead, uh, I can take one more move for the middle, like this. Yeah. I would give a pressure to gain uh, center like this. Okay, my opponent won't answer like this, but I would play this one, not this one, because it is too slack to me. And what about white? White just played this one. But just right after I saw this move, I felt that it is the Japanese style or 1970s, 60s style. If it was my game, I would have played this attach to bother opponent. How would black answer? If now black plays like diagonal move, which is sort of sent there, white would ignore. I said. Ignore and then come to this area, then it looks better while well, he rages this bigger area. Or if black plays Hane, then double Hane. So after this one, black still need an answer to defend the weakness, then Atari twice and extend. So it looks good. Yeah. Black need to play an additional move like this, then jump. So compared to the real game, the white just played in the middle of somewhere and black defend. Uh, I would feel that it is comfortable for black. So I would play something like this to break more. Okay. And even later, okay, it happened like this, jump, jump, and black split it. Black tries to split this A group and B group. And then black goes out, white attaches and extend push. Okay, this was the game. But this attach also. Uh, if I were white, okay, after alpha go, now I can even think this kind of move. So what's the aggressive move that you could imagine? That's white. Not easy to imagine something mm -hmm. very special. Okay, if I were white, I would have played this one, uh, J4. Block and then Hane. So if 
my opponent plays this move, which is same move as the actual game, then I have this exchange, so I can play this satari. If my opponent answers, then I'll play this cover. Even though I'm not very uh, strong player, I can play this kind of, I can find this kind of uh, practical moves, more practical moves than the other one. It doesn't mean that it is better, but when I check, when I see 1960s, 70s games, I found tons of this kind of situations. But if I were white, if I were black, I wouldn't play the move smoothly like this. Okay, so that is the, mm -hmm, the feeling. Mm -hmm. And that changed it. Okay. In 1990s, uh, this is the game between Lee Chang Ho, you know, the familiar name, and Cho Hun Hyun, uh, two top pro, uh, Korean pro players game in 1993. Uh, now you see just the game. Okay, don't check uh, the details, just check. Uh -huh. uh, there were so many more of touching moves. Is it? Mm -hmm. okay. Cut, capture, push, ER, cut, uh, Atari, Atari, knight move. Where would you play if you're white? How would you handle these two stones? This one. Would you give it away or move out? Not easy. Uh huh. Very good. Uh -huh. So you played like the Li Chang Ho. Li Chang Ho was white. Why do I touch it here? In order to get some rhythm here. Okay, that was the game. So you can see that it is way more tighter, is it? Much uh, more tighter uh -huh, than the other games that we checked in you know, the 1960s and 70s games. Okay? The lower left uh, area, this one, it is a pattern. Is it was a pattern? Uh, normally black push twice and then here okay it was like that this was the pattern which is called korean style of patterns in 1990s there were many korean style patterns let me show you some more of korean style patterns this is the game that uh, lee chang ho and jo hun played again in 2002 okay uh -huh. after here now you can imagine the practical move attach that was the game. And we studied this in the Black's opening lecture. That Black attaches and knight move. Why invade and black played here? Where would you play if you're white? Or if it was Japanese game in 1960s or 70s, then I suppose they would have played like this one. Is it? But that was the game. Much tighter, is it? Oh. And then jump. Atari and attach on the bottom on this second line like this and start the core fight okay. This was 1990s to 2000 uh, game much more tighter okay. And there was there is one more game. It is another Li Chang was game I brought this because this was the Li Chang -ho pattern. Li Chang -ho started playing this move uh, this pattern, you know the shape is so ugly, is it? Because after block, black plays one Atari to make this white shape uglier. Once Otake, you know, Otake Hideo did said that uh, he wouldn't play you know, this blocking move, even if it is a good move, uh, because the shape is bad. Okay. So that was the paradigm around 1960s, 70s, that you should play a good shape move uh, in Japan. It was like, you know, the paradigm. They believed that if they make the better shape, then the better result will come. So they just follow the shapes. But in 1990s, uh, in Korea, they don't care much about the shape, but care about uh, practical points or fight, local fight. So that's why more practical moves came. And in modern Go, no. uh, in the personal report, I... Sometimes recommend people to check uh, pro games to improve the opening part. But I do not recommend to watch professional games, uh, which is mm, after 2000. Because after 2000, there were tons of practical moves from the opening stage. So there was no such moves 
that we checked in the, the first two uh, games, uh, there were no moves like this. Uh, so you cannot study opening because they started fighting from the opening stage. That's why I recommend to watch 7080, uh, 7080's games because then they can study openings. So the game become way more tighter than before. I feel that the uh, the modern Go players, they put out the bubbles from the shapes. Uh, there were so many bubbles in the, uh, the past uh, game's shapes, like this one. Black plate here because it looks good. Uh, instead of this attach, pivot and attach like this, you know, the shape is not as good as the other one, something like that, so maybe not. Uh -huh. And especially the move like this, uh, they did not play. Maybe they thought about this kind of move, but they couldn't dare to play this kind of move. They played in a very gentle way, like this. So it is beautiful. However, not that practical. And AlphaGo came. AlphaGo played one level higher practical moves. Professional players, I believe that they can find nearly all the uh, practical moves in every situation, but maybe it was not uh, the right idea. So let's check. AlphaGo's games. This is the game, uh, game two against uh, Kaje. Uh, black attached and cut. So it is possible to expect attach and cross cut. Fine. But after this one, I was wondering how would black handle this. Uh, of course, black can handle the group. Maybe one space jump to look for making connection, like looking for A B, or uh, what else? Diagonal move. So try to look for cut if it is working. Something like this. Uh, I was expecting this kind of move. Uh, I don't think that white will block. Later, I can play this one to move out. But I thought we played way more practical move. This one and this one. Mm -hmm. Ah, that move. Yeah, from the Juseki. The from the Juseki, which comes from uh, the case, this one. Is it? ER. And uh, what is it? No, not this one. Attach. And I cut, then here, link, and now why should play this one and jump? It is exactly the same shape as the one which happened in the, the game. Is it? That one. Way more practical move. And let's keep going. Uh -huh. Maybe it is not that surprised. Maybe uh, professional players also can find it. But uh, this is the, the game one. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that nearly all of you watched this game one. This move, don't even extend the right side move. Why just attach it directly? So black answers and then attach again. So there's no distance between stones. They just, you know, directly touched. Say, when you meet person, then before you speak about the topic that you want to speak, you say, hi, okay, how are you? The weather is good. And then maybe five minutes, 10 minutes later, you speak about the thing, what you want to speak. I said, that was the uh -huh, game in 1960s and 70s. They speak and okay, maybe we should fight and then they fight. But in this AlphaGo, okay, in modern games, they just say hi and fight, professional players, hi and fight. So there's no opening, only fight from the opening stage. But AlphaGo doesn't even say hi. Uh, or just attach it directly. That was so interesting, is it? So even this kind of move is working, then, which means that the bubble still exists. I thought that all the bubbles are gone after uh, like 2000, because professional players, they showed very nice quality games if you only look the local part, but maybe not. Uh, maybe this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here, why should bring these two stones out? So you guess where white played to bring this group out. Mm -hmm. Attach, uh, of course, is it? Uh, instead of just jumping out like this, why attach it? Black extend, attach it. Okay. Many of these touching moves. If I place here, then okay, it is like, hi, okay, how are you? And, you know, they speak. They don't fight, I feel. But this attach means that he goes directly to the goal. OK, 
Okay, give me what you got, like this. Okay. Yeah. The professional players, or AlphaGo, it is AlphaGo versus AlphaGo match, should be able to endure. Okay. For that, you need to have a good reading, uh, reading ability. Okay. So reading would be more important in the future of Go. Okay, let's keep checking this kind of examples. There are tons of examples. Is it? While approach it once to the upper right corner, where would you play? There are so many places that you can play. Is it? You can play A, or you can just extend to B. Mm -hmm. Okay, something like this. If you want to play on the lower side, then maybe you play attach here to play this D pincer. Or you want to come closer to this black corner, maybe E. But actual game, here. Let's fight. Okay. That is what I said. Maybe it is not let's fight, it is just checking. Probe. Okay, how would you answer? Like this. But from this early beginning, really? It is working? Maybe. Uh -huh. Because AlphaGo won all games uh -huh. in this match. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh -huh. Uh, there is one more variation. Yes, there was one more. Uh -huh. After white attach it, black went down. So white attaches once more. Mm -hmm. And later, uh -huh. white's these two stones were weak. So how should white handle these two stones? Uh -huh. White should maybe jump, is it? But white played this one. Uh -huh. So again, touching moves. This. Uh -huh. Don't know how to handle that, but anyway, white handled it like this. There was a uh, uh, what is it uh, negotiation. And here, okay, uh, white extend, then there could be a cutting point. And if white doesn't answer, then black would take it. So white should play this one. The shape is bad, but it is working. To imagine this kind of move, if you bring this game to 1970s or 60s, it would be quite tough for them. Because that is not an option. Often, that kind of move is not an option. Okay, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I could not answer to your comment uh, because I need to quickly jump and uh, yeah, should stay focused in the lecture. But I would try to answer uh, your move, your comment. Uh, the right side, white group is okay. Opened. Okay. The door is open, so black should come. We studied this move. Is it how to come? Black could just play this knight move, but it looks too slack. So rush invasion we studied. Is it? Or since the one stone is on the fourth line, black can invade to this area to play this Atari and connect. Okay, so this was the human's distance. This one or this one. Okay. And AlphaGo played more practical move. One step closer, which was this attach. Okay, it is possible, you know, we have this kind of move, is it? Uh, like uh, this attach, we know how to play, but we did not think about this move in this case. But uh, AlphaGo came one line closer. Right? I thought, uh, professional players also thought that they played, you know, you know tight enough. They play lots of tight moves, but practical moves, but maybe it was not that tight because AlphaGo played more, uh -huh. let's say, practical moves. Mm -hmm. Now let's keep going. Black invade here and white should handle this one stone A. How to handle? You know, this attach and tiger mouse, is it? Uh, I recommend this move. Uh, if you don't know how to handle, then attach 3-3, three, three, tiger mouse, and go down, that is okay. It is okay. I think white can play like this. But instead of this one, white should something more interesting, which is attach, uh, this touching move. There are tons of touching moves like this that we cannot imagine. Right? What's the meaning of this one? What if black plays Hane? How should white react it? White? Probably plan to play this attach and tiger mouse. Now you see that this A, B are exchanged, so I can cut. If it is not exchanged here, 
Then after that, I don't think that black gonna play here because white can cut to make lots of weaknesses. So it is working. Right? So black should step back. Uh, if black steps back, then white can exchange this one. Okay, that AB exchange is bad exchange if you look on the lower side. But since this CD are fighting, oh, are you gonna help to uh, fight in this area where? Like this. Okay, that attach. Huh. Who can imagine this one before AlphaGo? Not easy, is it? So this kind of touching moves really opens the new eyes uh, to strong players. It was so interesting. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, Black would like to make the territory on the right side. Right side. Uh, so you could just play for the right side, but maybe you can use the weakness of this wise connection. Where should black play to use the connection? Maybe you can guess this one. In general, if it is just the proper situation, not AlphaGo's game, then what looks like a good one? Break the dog's face, is it? This is the human's distance. That is good. I would say that was just perfect. But AlphaGo played this one. One line tighter. White answered and then jump after exchange. Okay, looks good, is it? So one line closer, just one line. But that one line, professional players, they dig in this game, game of Go, a lot, and found many of tight moves. They put the bubbles away. However, still, that move. I forgot to show that there was some more bubbles there. And here, white divide, and the human's distance must be this one and this one. And we discovered this move, she. Uh, in not in this case, is it? In this case. Uh, but AlphaGo played something more interesting, which is attaching on the top. On the top, even on the top is working. Ah, ah interesting, is it? I don't know what was mm -hmm, Black's plan. If White plays here, then that must be the plan. But what about this one? Then Hane again? Maybe, because black can use this nice potential in this case. Or in the other way around, this lower side potential, which is one line tighter than the other one. Just here, extend, okay, black can increase this area, but not that tight uh, compared to this one. You know, one line closer. I don't know whether it is the right answer, but up to now, uh, to come one line closer must be the uh, the better move. Is it? Uh, it is like an evolution. In 1960s, 70s, people played in a very good shape, uh, but there were many bubbles in it. So in 1990s, 20s, 2000, uh, professional players, they remove, uh, they felt that they removed all the bubbles. So they play lots of tight moves, but AlphaGo played way uh, more tighter moves now. Okay. So it is so interesting, isn't it? Uh -huh. And, uh, ah, okay, I should show some more. Mm -hmm. After that, uh -huh. white played this knight move and black plays this knight move to look for the weakness of this wise group. This is pretty complicated situation, isn't it? Uh -huh. They never touch a weak stone. <laughs> Okay, case by case, is it? How should white handle these wise groups? There were so many cutting points, is it? There are A cutting point, B cutting point. It'll be so tough. But uh -huh. AlphaGo played this one. Ah, maybe AlphaGo took the, the lecture. Break the bamboo, is it? This one. Ah, I expect this move. That looks good. Is it? It looks like okay move, but one line more. One line, one line closer. One line tighter. Even this move is working. Okay. So I cannot say anything. So after checking this 50 of AlphaGo's games, I felt that okay, there was one more bubble in even professional's games. And here, the right side. Why turn? How would you invade? 
You can easily guess now, is it? Which means that you already opened your eyes to this new chapter. R10, is it? This attach. What else? That was the move. After that, Y exchange, go down and cut. And saved it in this way. It is not over. You should be able to handle these two groups, two wise groups, this A group and B group. If you can, it means you can play this move. Otherwise, it will be difficult. So maybe it is the move only AlphaGo can play. But still, we can uh, now put this as an option. So AlphaGo, uh, if you download the Kifu later, or I will share the Kifu later, then you will see uh, the each. Uh, cases, I put the number of the games so you can check it later. Okay, so you can check it later. Okay, so now uh, after checking these 50 games, 50 games, I feel that uh, AlphaGo should one level higher practical moves because it comes much you know, quicker, faster. And much closer. It is just one line. Uh, in 1919 lines go band, you cannot come much closer, like five lines. But one line, that one line, professional players, they thought that there was no that line. Uh, because they already made the gap pretty smaller. But there was one more. So that was pretty impressive. And let's keep going. Okay. Uh, what is the... Uh, the skills, very often played skills among strong players. If you see a lot of uh, strong players' games, then they use lots of probes, uh, asking moves. The probe, this is very famous case. White came close to A, before black answer here, black should cut. This is the probe. White answers this, then okay, black still need an answer. But because of this AB exchange, later black can block at C in sente. Okay. So if I place this Atari, then this block A is not sente, but black doesn't need to play to defend this weakness because it is already uh, solved. So that's it. Uh, this cut is the good one. Let's check one more example. Why place this move? Where should black play? This is really down levels move, but I'm sure many of you know it. Yes, this one. Before you answer, you should ask to your opponent. This is the probe. Before you answer, your opponent gave the question, would you play A or B? Then you should try to find the C, and that is C, which often comes to this uh -huh, from this uh, idea. Okay. We ask. You ask me, then I ask you, like this. Okay. So this is the, the good idea. After exchange, black answer, then later, black can save the group in the corner. So this proof, that is the most often used skill among strong players. And I believe that uh, professional players, they are doing a very good job. Mm -hmm. But the first match, this is uh, Koje and AlphaGo's first match. You know, the move. Uh -huh. None of professional players expect this move. It was this peep. Mm -hmm. After Black's this invasion, why peeped here? And that made uh, White feel so annoyed. If Black answers this, then it makes the bad shape, isn't it? So who would answer like this? Uh, professional players, they won't answer. OK, so it was painful. Uh -huh. uh, professional players, they felt that it is not a bad game for Black. But after this move and exchange, they felt that uh, it looks good for White like this. They turned with this one probe, one peep. And it was not over. After one attach, where should I play? If it was my game, then I would not spend lots of time to choose A or B. A or B to come and attack this black group. But why play this one? After mm, checking this move, uh, Korean professional players, I would say, or Kaze would uh, have said, uh -huh, a common. Why? Uh -huh. That is not even working. It is not working now, but because of that move, there will be so many forcing moves that I can use it. Like this one, that exchange, that AB. Later, this became a great help. 
because we can use many sent demos around this AB area. This is one level higher proof. Even professional players cannot expect that one. Okay, so let's keep going. In these 50 50 games, AlphaGo showed many of them. Why not attach it here? This is the easy level proof. Easy level. Your opponent is now asking, where would you play? Would you block here? Then I could go Hane or cut. And if you go down, then I would extend. So, okay, how would you answer? So, where would you play? I suppose many of you can get the right answer. The right move? Uh, that right, not the right move, but the uh, actual game. Black play this one. That attach. E17 also nice option. Mm -hmm. Attach here. If fight answers this, then black can make this nice strength, so can fight. Uh, you cut, now I go down and fight. So, if I place this Hane, then okay, ah, this one stone is now light. So I can maybe do something in the corner, uh, like this. Actual game wide extends, so black got a chance to save the group, and uh, there was a trade, like this. So this is the probe. I forgot probe, but uh, there is even higher level of probe. Look at this upper right corner. Why is one stone is dead? It seems there's no way for white to use this one stone. But here, white play this attach. Here. This is dead. Black cannot save it. White cannot save it. But attach it here. Because uh, black can answer here, right? That is, send their move. But then, white can play this exchange. So locally it is dead, but white can use those send their moves. This one and this one. Or just pip. Why can use this pip in center? So black doesn't feel good. Okay? So black played this one. So for now, there was nothing. But later, black extend even to here. So it looks that one stone is dead. However, uh, it is dead, but white attaches and hane. Uh, this one. That AB white played, and it is now useful. Black cannot play this move because that is center. So if it is center, white can use all these center moves. Why get that three moves for free in the middle? That's why black couldn't answer and later white played this Atari to uh, make this Ponuki. So somehow later white uses this uh, one exchange. This upper right case, it looks like the, the over case. That there's nothing. But white attach it and get something from it. That is what uh, I couldn't imagine and also other professional players, I believe. Let's keep going. Uh, Black's this right si side uh, is pretty strong, but white pips here. This is also a proof. If Black answers, then of course it is a good exchange. So Black played this one, and then white played this shoulder. It. Shoulder it here. Black push and extend. This pushing and extending move Black plate in order to take this one stone. Okay. But it looks that distance between B and C isn't really great. So why is these two stones already reduce this area a lot? So A is dead, but it was not clearly dead. Later, Y played this one, K16, and used it. Attach and below, so black had to answer. So this kind of moves Y used it. It looks White played here and gave this one stone without nothing. But White already uses this shoulder and jump and later squeezed like this and gained points from it. So now I don't feel that these two are just dead without reason. White used it. Like this. That pip in this black's advantage area. I was something, uh, let's say, out of my uh, thought uh, ideas. And this one, that was so interesting. Uh, black played this knight move, so you can see that the lower side white groups were weak. And black's upper side groups, this A, is weak too. White's choice was trade. White did not try to save B, white played this one. So black said, okay, you kill that, I kill the lower side group. Okay. Looks like the, okay, Fair trade. White takes four, black takes four, like that. But 
the white spot looks a bit bigger, isn't it? Uh -huh. So I thought that, okay, black made nice position. And then, why play this exchange? Okay, why not? And the next move, do you, do you know this move? Uh, if you already checked this, uh -huh, then you would have known it. The move was this one. That is a proof, asking move. So ask what? What is that? I mean, on this seventh line, in this timing, why? But if you understand the meaning, then you will get to know that it is so good. If black answers here, something like this, then why can use this weakness? Something like that. So here, this one, cut, this is sent there. If it is sent there, then there is a cutting point. Okay. That kind of moves, why can use it? If there is no move, then why just attach and cut, then black would not answer, black would defend here. Because this Atari, okay, there's nothing. Okay. So why not touch is here? And okay, so if black answers like this, then why can use it? Actual game black played here, so why used it? Black cannot block because why can do something like this? Okay, so actual game black answered here, but what if black steps back? Oh, then it is a bad exchange. There's no Aji. But this AB. Is a good exchange. Why can later cut? This white group is dead, but there is a good way for white to throw this group away. This one is uh, what is it? The rush invasion, block Hane and Tiger Mouse. They there is still Aji that white can play this A or B. A is not working for now directly. For example, let's say white is safe. Then later, what can white do in the corner? Later, if I cut, then black can make the connection. There is no way to save this white group. But why can play this one? If black answer here, then why can boot to look for making this A B as the connection? Black can play Atari, but then do the call. So after push, maybe black should play here. Then why can play this one, which black need an answer? This is sent there. And this attach and here. Uh, so there will be a way for Y to save it. Okay. Black would block here, so this is a uh, call, but anyway, uh, this kind of happening would come. Mm -hmm. There's still Aji. And when this Aji happens like this, this AB remains as very nice exchange for white. We can understand. Okay, good. But in this timing, Find this probe that is just, you know, not the human's move, isn't it? Uh, this is one of the most uh, impressed moves that I uh, found in this out of 50 games. No good answer, is it? If black steps back, then it is already good for white. White can just throw this away and fully use it. So that's why black played this Hane. And why not touch it to bring this group out? Okay. In this timing, here, in this more than 340 like, places there, who can find this as a probe? It is a probing move, asking, you, you want to save that too or not? You save, I go out. You don't save that, okay, I will throw it away. Like this. That was so tough. Mm -hmm. And this one, that is another very impressed one. Mm -hmm. Ah, can black not ignore? Uh, even after this one. Play K3? I just play elsewhere, like this. Can be an option, but then why can still bring this group out? Uh, this attach is working to save this group. So somehow black should react it. Uh, but black should not step back because then black would, uh, white would throw it away. And the next one, white covers it, so black played this knight move to split. Okay, and white played here. Uh, you can see white's idea. If black just take this one stone, then white can be happy with this uh, nice connections. Black takes one stone, but it doesn't look good. Therefore, black played this attach in order to split it. Uh huh. Nice idea. 
and white did not like it, so white played this one. And the next move is uh, again uh, one of the the most interesting and impressed moves that I found it. N7, yes, this one, that was the move. So you, okay, it is already impressed. It looks like very nice move. But the meaning, we should find the meaning. Why? Why, why in this timing? To find this, it was so tough to find the reason, but it was so interesting to find the reason. Black would just blow up if it is working. So is it working? If black cuts here. White cuts, then black answer. It is okay for black. Black to separate the group. There's no way to attack this group, so it should be okay for black. Okay? So white won't play here. White gonna play. You can expect the move. This one. Right? White gonna play here. Uh, block, then this is not working. Connect, then okay, it is working to take these two stones. But while the time blacks these three stones in the corner become weaker. So I don't think that black would choose this option. So instead, black should play this one. That is the move. Uh, it looks A, B, or me, I. Right? So white should go down and black will lose and cut. This is the complicated situation. Black can block here. Then who's that here? White or black? White can play Hane, then black should attach, and here. Then how to kill? This black's group, no way to kill. Okay, so maybe white can use this Sente moves. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sente, uh -huh. or no exchange. And the middle, uh -huh. white can uh, do it, uh, but black can move out. Right. So, Okay, maybe it is possible, is it? Mm -hmm. So black can play this one directly. I mean, uh, black can block. Uh, why did black play this attach uh, instead? Uh, we should find this reason, is it? Okay, after here, black plays this. Then, uh -huh, n7 is head of two stones. n7, ah, uh, head of two stones. Yes, but who can find that head of two stones at this? Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, here, it was so difficult for me to find the right answer. I'm not sure whether it is the right answer, but I guess why AlphaGo did not play this move uh, directly, because after here, why is this diagonal move is Sente? Is it Sente? What if Black just jumps away? How to do something in this corner? It looks every move is working, but not really. For example, this move, black can just play here. It's not working. So S9, Atari, so not working. So this jump was the first idea what I had, but black can play here, so it is also not working. It is quite a long journey to find the right move, okay, but I couldn't find it. The right answer for white here is this connection. This connecting move is working. Black cannot play any move inside because then there will be no uh -huh, capturing rays. Therefore, black should play from the outside, but because of this connection, white can play this S19. So before black plays here, black should exchange this to remove this S9 and play here. So it looks white's well, group is dead, but white can still push here. Uh, block then it is dead. Okay. Therefore, any other move that black plays inside is not working. Any other move, okay, you can just check it later, not working. So black need to block from the outside, but white can make the connection, and this is the call. If white can make the call, where is the call threat? It would be difficult to find it. Okay? That's why it is working, white can connect here. So if white can connect this in Sente, okay, which means black cannot answer here. Black should play this one, something like this, exchange and save it. Then white can cover. So in this case, in this case, if black has this exchange, then black can easily jump out. That is the reason. That was the reason why black did not play here, but attach here first. As a proof, if white just ignores it, then black can split. Okay, good. So if white answers it, then black plan to play this one to 
play exactly the same shape. So now, why is this movie sent there? Black need to save. Then why can cover but black jumps out? That is the reason. Okay. So we should check again. Then why is it important? What if there is no exchange? Uh, for example, uh, let's say black did not play this one and just played it. So we tracked up to this. Okay? If there is no exchange, then black should go out with this bad shape. But is it possible to kill? Not easy. This was so difficult to find the right answer. Black can go out. How to surround? Not easy. Why should cover? Then first of all, black need to play all these bad exchanges. Is all bad exchanges and need to connect. And why blocks and black goes out here? If black jumps it, then why can wedge to kill directly? This is the loose ladder. And it is dead. You can see that cut is not working. Okay. Well, I can kill everything. So this is the what is it? Uh, the variation behind uh, of this flex uh, probe. So instead of this, what was it? Uh, uh, jumping move. Black should play here. Mm -hmm. And after exchange, now important. If I just place the normal move like this. Then black can capture. Why need to play this one? And black goes down. Okay. White blocks. Black plays here. And now you can see that white is dead. Why cannot win this capturing race? So at this point, it is important. Why should play Hane? Why should bring this uh, one stone, uh, the dead stone out? If black plays elsewhere, then white can go out to make the call again. So this must be a big problem. So how should black answer? If black answers here, then there's nothing. However, why can continue playing it? Okay. Capture is sent there, why need an answer? And after this one, now we can see that after here, black cannot play this A. Because of this B, C exchange, black cannot play. If black cannot play there, then why can play this Atari to kill it? Okay. So this Hane is working. But it is still not over. Black shouldn't answer here, but black should answer here. Then white blocks it again, same, same, same. And black captures this and go down. White plays here, then what's the uh, result? Can black, if black plays something like this, then white can kill. So black need to remove this liberties. There are two ways to remove the liberties. One is A, two is B. If black plays A, where should I play? Just normal move, not working. Why cannot play this A to play this Atari? But instead, why can throw in? Capture and Atari. So this is a call. Why can make call? So use the one call thread to take outside. Already white takes this very nice outside, so it must be good for white. So black plays this B, still white can throw in to make this call. So if it is call, then it should be good for white. So like this, this is the one that I found the behind scene of this black's attach. Why black attaches here? Because black doesn't want to get this uh, bad situation that black goes out with this you know bad way if black goes out in bad way why can cover why can play hane to make the call and before white makes the call white already surround this black area so it is not working so what to do attach here first okay. so that was the, the reason why black played this one so interesting is it uh, yeah the to discover the the reason why I forgot to play this uh, strange move. It looks just a strange move, but there is a huge amount of variation behind. Maybe I probably can read this in, I don't know, 10 seconds, but as a human, okay, already from here. If I go out here, then my opponent can blow, la 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 la, up to this. It's so tough, it is more than 60 moves. Uh, uh, be not easy. 
uh, Laplace Cohen uses K1, K11. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, I cannot. Uh, if Black uses this K1 mm -hmm. uh, as the cause red, this kind of move, K11, will be a bad exchange. Right? And why can use the call thread in this way to kill everything? Then this must be big enough for white to win. Because the point what black got here around A is only about 25 points. So it is not a big deal. The other call, uh, it'll be okay, tough for me to track it. Uh, okay, so this is the one that I figured out why black attached it here. So where did white play? Why couldn't answer here and just uh, went to the other way, like this? And uh, another negotiation came like this. Interesting, is it? Attach here and ask this attach as a probe. And before that, check all this variation up to this one. And I okay, thought that ah, if there is an exchange, then it would be great. So black like, play this exchange. So, interesting. Okay, like this. Uh, AlphaGo played a probe, which as a human, it is quite difficult to imagine uh, to play this attach in this timing. I was so impressed, isn't it? Uh -huh. That is so huh, interesting. Mm -hmm. This 50-60 moves uh, the direct way until the end, from here to the end, end of this one, uh, end of this one, where? It is not that, is it? End of the moves that uh, black plays here, and so white covers, black goes out, this one. Uh, to find this Hane must be quite tough, but I think it is possible to see it. But more difficult move than this one was the move that uh, black should play here and white connects. Okay, so, and there are many other variations that you should check it as well. So it was not easy. It is tough. But I forgot just maybe did it in 15, 10 seconds. So like this, probe. I forgot plays the probe, probing move, which is one of the highest uh, and often played skills in Go in a much better way than pro players. I believe it is way better. Uh, practical move, maybe uh, professional players can play more um, practical type moves. But this kind of probe, in really this timing with this shape, it will be quite tough to find it. Okay. That kind of move is to me Tetsuji. This is the Tetsuji, probe Tetsuji. I uh, was so impressed to see it. Okay, so AlphaGo is one level higher uh -huh, than the top pro players that uh, AlphaGo find better practical move, more uh, tighter move, mm -hmm. and also uh, one level higher probe. So this is already strong enough for AlphaGo to become the world's world best player level. And let's keep going. There is one more. Mm -hmm. This one. Uh, AlphaGo breaks the human's fixed idea. This is the second match. This is the first match. Black played here to attack this wise group. So I was wondering that how AlphaGo would save this group. Why okay. played one diagonal move exchange and then the next move? Do you remember this? That P was the one of the most mm -hmm, the, to say impressed move and the second one was this one k14 this doesn't look like the hmm, first idea first idea must be hane i said hane is the the move that i would just imagine as the first move black goes out and white extend like this it doesn't look bad but black can cut later right? this cut would be quite annoying uh, or black push here then this one stone become white burden but what if I place this knight move, that one? It is not easy to imagine because it is like a loose move. Is it? Black play this one. Mm -hmm. White can pip exchange once and extend. Then this one stone is in the better position than the position that white has this honey. 
this is better shape. But to imagine this move, now it doesn't look easy. But this was the, the better one. Pretty impressed move. It is just a tiny difference, but so maybe it is only me that I feel that it is so uh, impressed move. But uh, AlphaGo breaks many of these kind of fixed ideas that human players would just think in the first time idea, okay, Hana, of course, like this. But let's keep going. Why invade here and black connect? And why takes the corner? Where should black play? We can simply imagine black should block, of course, is it? But if black blocks it, then why can put then to to not answer? If you do not answer, why can split? That is so painful. So black need an answer, is it? So why can take the profit? Black blocks this area, but what can black get it? Since why is this A is here? Not really, is it? So AlphaGo played this one. Even if AlphaGo says that this is the best move, I would not play. That looks so weird and no, nah, like that. Why can go out, but maybe AlphaGo felt that why? Okay, even if Y goes out there, black can take up a side, so not a big deal like this. Why can make the connection, but not a big deal. Why well, can save this group anyway, in this case or the other case. So if I can save this group anyway, then black takes this nothing in the middle, but white takes profit. But in this case, black takes profit. So it is ah, possible. But to find this one during the game, be quite tough. And even if I place this Hane and Link, there will be a cutting point. But if black plays here, then this Hane and Link is not threatable. So yes, it is possible. It is possible, but even if it comes to my game in a similar case, it will be difficult to find it. Yes. Mm. Don't give any uh, how to say damage to all 17 stones like that. The shape. I don't think that none of professional players can imagine this move as the, the first idea, and even, okay, second, third idea would be still very tough to find it. This is the fixed idea. Shape is bad. So I wouldn't imagine this move. I wouldn't even put this as an option. What about R14? R4, uh, to play this as white. White could, but black would block probably. Hana uh -huh. and cut and extend. This is another the reading part that you should figure it out. Not easy. That is one option. Or black can just go down. Why can break this area? But if black takes the upper side group, then this A group is okay. So maybe that is just good enough for black. Why erases the right side, but black takes the bigger corner? That should be okay. Like this. So it is possible. After AlphaGo plays this kind of move, if you, if I just, you know, how to say it, check the variations, the meaning behind, then it is reasonable. But when I see this first time, then, ah, oh, what, what's that? Like this. But after checking meanings, then it is understandable. And this one. Black played Hane. Why cannot block? If I block, then black would have this kind of uh -huh, skills, uh -huh, technical moves. So why should defend it? How to make the connection? I think we can connect here, but okay, uh, possible. Or maybe connect, possible. But actually, game, why play this one? The shape is ugly, is it? It looks like the 18 Q's move. It looks like the misclick, the bad connection. But later, black had to save uh -huh, like this, and white got a chance to play this one in Sente. After here, black had to exchange and save the group. Then now you see, if this move was here, then the shape would be so ugly. But now this bad shape move become a good shape move. So yes, maybe it is possible. But to play this one, to find this move as an option, not even playing as a move, as an option, I think it is not easy.
If you're stronger, then it will be more difficult to find this kind of move. Yeah, because if you are strong, which means you have a lot of knowledge, and some of them could become a fixed idea. AlphaGo opens uh, and removes that many of fixed ideas uh, in the professional level. Mm -hmm. Looks inefficient, yes, but later this became the efficient shape. Okay, and uh, here, uh -huh. ah, black play night move. Where should I play? We can imagine two right? answer to the corner or attach on the top. I think just one of them. If I were white, I would have chosen one of them. But uh, AlphaGo plays something which I cannot imagine, and I just reali uh, how to say it, uh, realized, uh -huh. understood that oh, it is so good uh, just right after I saw that. Uh, if I attach a CR, then later black would uh, extend okay, to look for cut. White answer, black takes corner like this. Okay? And if I place here, black would jump. Okay, attach and extend, this one. But what if there is an exchange? That would be so nice exchange for black. Because no one would answer in this way. It would answer here, of course. And if I place this diagonal move, later black can block to make the eye space here. So, why not attach this one first? And then clamp. If black answers it, then this AB has now became a good exchange. Just with different sequence, and this attach and clamp is the one that we use, but in this right timing that uh, uh, we cannot imagine to play this now, because it looks like the move that uh, you make Black's group stronger. Basically, Black's two stones are weak, so better not to touch, but attach and clamp it is working. So actual game, what happened? Black played here, had to defend, and white takes sente. It is not easy to take sente uh, with this nice shape, but uh, I forgot to the sente. Okay, so this attach and clamp. And there's one more move. After that, okay, it happened like this. Black played here, jump, and here. Upper side, where would you play to invade? You can play this one, it looks okay, is it? or maybe come into this area directly. Or force line invasion, possible, but I forgot to play this one. That looks like a bad move, you know, the shape looks bad. Is it? But I suppose if black blocks, white plan to play here, to just split it. Often this kind of exchange makes this black group stronger, so it is bad. But since why is that 3 has one more stone, this A, that group is not that weak. So what if I split it? Who's stronger? That 2 or that 2? It looks white 2 stones are stronger because white has one more stone. So actual game, black played here and white made a connection like this. Okay. This was the game. Then let's find the sequence from the other way around. Why plays this one? Okay. Where would black play? Black would attach. Uh -huh. And then white invade. Looks like an overplay. Is it? Black can play this one to threat this group. But it looks black play this move. Hane and cut. Even cut. So white plays Atari and completely save the group. Good for white. Black played this one to let white make the connection underneath. This is already pretty nice situation for white. So this invasion looks like a good one. This is not the human's move. Right? We cannot simply imagine this one. We can imagine this attach that exists. Uh -huh. Or here, here, uh -huh. this one possible, but not this one. Okay. Uh, we checked the uh, four uh -huh. specialty, uh, specialties of AlphaGo. Okay? We made one lecture. In that lecture, I... Uh, Guess that uh, AlphaGo really likes to play the Kosumi approach a lot. Is it? Kosumi approach, not the night move approach. This is the night move approach. A to B, there is a distance. But I feel that AlphaGo feels treat this as a bubble. This is the bubble, it's too far. Okay, why not come closer? 
Why not come closer? Invade. This is also the knight move approach. Like, you know, the same shape. But what about the diagonal move? Come tighter like this. So this kind of move comes so often. So that kind of moves are the moves which opens the new possibility to the uh, strong players, I guess, because it is not easy to imagine it. This one and attach on the bottom to play this clamp in this timing. And here. Uh -huh. Where we invite R17. 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 Ah, yes, the one that Y came to the corner directly after attach, like this one. Is it? Do you mean this? I did not have enough time. That would be so difficult because it is also the move that uh, people do not imagine. It comes, it came to the situation black has the high uh, space and closer. But okay, let's later. Okay, this 50 games is impossible for me to analyze in like two days. So I try to collect the most impressed part impressed part that we can maybe study and guess what's the future of goal and what is the higher level of goal okay uh, when you play games mm -hmm. and uh, strong players especially the professional players they have this word this move is you know how to say fighting spirit if you play there then okay you don't have fighting spirit like this okay. so in this case of course here, play, fight, don't step back and move forward, something like this. It is also called chise, is it? Chise is the Japanese word. Do you know this word? It is kise in Korea, which is fighting spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, chi is like, uh, you know, the Kung Fu Panda. Have you seen that uh, movie? Chi, uh -huh. chi was the one that uh, panda need to get it, is it? Chi. Yes, the spirit. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. Qi or qi like that. Anyway, the qi se means fighting spirit. Okay. So here you want to block this black right side. Where would you play to block? Uh, to make the big territory on the right side. Gesundheit. tight. <laughs> okay, German word is it? Gesundheit is like a health, no? Ah, it is the sneeze, uh -huh. sneezing sound. Okay. Blessing, it means, okay. Uh huh. But where would you play? Mm -hmm. As a uh, black. You could block. Mm -hmm. Block and say to your opponent that I will make everything like this. Uh -huh. Or night move. Okay, you break that under the second line area. I will make the big territory in the middle, like this. So, or push many times to increase. So, this kind of move I would imagine to play. It is so tough to decide the move, but anyway, I will choose this one. But, uh, Alpha Go played this move. So, later, let's say Alpha Go uh, came to my PC. So, sometimes, okay, I want to make something very good, but okay, I don't know, so I asked Alpha Go, okay, where should I play? And Alpha Go shows this kind of move, then. Even though I forgot said that this is the best one, I won't play because there's no chi se, uh -huh, fighting spirit. What's this? Okay, understandable. Uh, white can jump, but that's not a big deal anymore because black can just block it. And maybe this, with this, it would be difficult for white to come to this area. If I block, then I forgot would come and save the group and destroy my land. I don't know, but still, still. This, uh, if I'm forced to play this move, then I would just rather play something else and then lose the game. That one, oh. Okay. Alpha Go says that, okay, that is enough. And this is the place that my opponent cannot come in. Ah, but no. There's no fighting spirit. Only human has the fighting spirit, is it? Alpha Go doesn't. So I will keep cheering the people up. Mm -hmm. If they play with the nice fighting spirit, not like a machine, a cold heart, that there's uh, nothing, just uh, win the game, one and a point like this. 
Aha. This kind of shape. There was very strange distance extensions. So maybe you should check that in other games, other lectures, but uh, it's too much. This is, this is so annoying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. But anyway, this kind of moves. Also, the new idea that we can, the professional players, when they check this kind of moves, they can now put this kind of move as an option because they saw the future. That is the better way of go. Uh, AlphaGo wins, uh, won everything. But that would be interesting. And here, this is another part. It is also about uh, breaks humans' fixed idea, but something different. Uh, White's turn. Where would you play if you're white? Just show me the human's uh, intuition. Human's intuition. Q, Q4 is the first one. Uh, this one is, is the human's intuition. <laughs> okay. Q10. J3. Okay. K3. M4. This one. K4. Mm -hmm. Okay. P9. This one. Uh -huh. F17. Uh -huh. He, F17 here. <laughs> okay. E8. Uh, EA, night move, mm -hmm. N4, N4 here. So, as you can see, uh, when we see this kind of uh, answers what you guys played, then the majority are on these five stones. Okay? That five stones doesn't look very strong. Okay? That's why Y plays many moves like I, K, C, D, E, uh, C, D, F, or something like this, or E, J, similar meaning. Or, okay, A, G, B to break the right side. You don't feel that it is so weak, so play for the right side like this. At two game, why play this one? And black plays this. Uh, okay, so, Goro Goro, you write, uh, you play this one. Uh-huh. Okay, so what if your opponent tries to attack this group? Where would you play? How would you endure this? White played elsewhere. White still did not play. Uh, white just saved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't care. Black played here and then white moves out. Now, finally. Uh -huh. This one, when I check this shape, that, okay, of course white should play for the lower side. Or at least black plays this one, then black can make the wing formation to fully increase the right side. Isn't it? This is opening theory problem. I can bring it and say that, okay, to play this, around k4 this is the right move i would do it yes it was k uh, f17 but just right after i saw this example i imagine this one i recall this uh -huh. case do you know this game it is the game that alphago played against lisedo the second match uh -huh. black did not play this one at that time professional players they just imagine, okay, extend and then uh, what to do, what to do. They think about something else because it is just obvious. But just right after Black played elsewhere, AlphaGo played elsewhere, did Li Chang, uh, Li Sedol play this move to attack? Li Sedol did not play. Li Sedol played this one. And later, uh, AlphaGo uses one exchange. And then the paradigm changed it. This shape came quite often in pros games. And in pros games, professional players, they did not play this often. They played this one here or here, like this, because they felt that it is too slow. Why is it slow? In the past, we treat this three as the weak group. It was weak. So, of course, black should answer. You know, need to extend to make the base like that. But I forgot played elsewhere. It is very simple to play elsewhere, in fact. But then, Lisedo, during the game, he thought that oh, if I play here, black can pip once and then how to attack. Even black can play elsewhere, how to attack. It is not strong, but it is not weak because there's no way to attack. So since then, the paradigm got changed. That black's group isn't really weak, so black can free to play somewhere else. And this is exactly the same shape. Why is this 5 looks weak? Because there's no extending point, no base. 
but black played elsewhere, uh, white played elsewhere, and even played elsewhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The tiger mouse. Okay, played elsewhere. Uh, almost always contact. Okay, connect. Yeah, I should check it. Interesting. Anyway, why play two times elsewhere? And later, uh, another AlphaGo tried to attack, but why saved it easily like this? So, I was not easy to attack. So, it is possible to play even two turns away. So, many of you guessed to play a move around this area because you treat this as a weak group. But maybe what human feels that it is weak is not that weak to AlphaGo. And this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, black attach it, Hane, Tiger Mouse, Extend. Uh, so, next move. Uh, if you're already the big fan of AlphaGo, you probably have checked all the games. Then you can maybe make it right. But if it is just, you know, the free question, where should black play? Then I don't think that anyone can get the right move. But, you know, this is AlphaGo's game. You guess, where would black play? I should ask in this way, is this white lower side 5 stone strong or weak? Is it strong group or weak group? A simple question, is it? Strong. Uh -huh. So if there is a strong group, then you should come closer or not? You should come uh, go away from this strength. Right? But actual game, black played here. This. So looking for what? Okay. What this? Black is looking for. I think Black is not looking for something great, just one exchange, I think. Because if it was like that, if you imagine, and now Black attach it, oh, White steps back. Oh, feels good. Like this. Over concentrated, yes. But to imagine this one, okay, this White group is strong, so I will play here to make this over concentrated. How to, to think in this way? Before I forgot. Not easy. At least no one tried it uh, in pro level. Maybe in 18 Q's level, someone tried it. Mm -hmm. I've tried. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this was the, the game. Mm -hmm. Why played elsewhere? This one, night move, something like this. Interesting, is it? And this one. Mm -hmm. uh, how to invade to why is Black's this right side? How to invade or how to reduce? This one is one option. To reduce it, black can make the territory, uh, maybe knight move. Ah, but looks, the right side is too big. Okay. Uh, maybe instead of this one, why should do something? Uh -huh. Yes, this one, pip, good move. And then how to continue? Maybe this one, jump. Or fifth line, something like this, right? Mm -hmm. O12, somewhere around middle. Uh -huh. But actual game, why well, blocked it? Black is strong, isn't it? Black is strong, but why it is just touching? I feel that uh, uh, why uh, is just hitting the rock, hitting the rock to break it down. Doesn't look easy. But, but let's. Imagine, okay, where should black play now after white blocks here? Where would you play? Uh, your opponent played this one, then you should say, uh, how dare you? And would play this one, is it? That one. Then white would play attach to move out. So if it is my game, I'll play this one because I don't feel that white can do something on the bottom area. Similar, is it? You would play something like this pincer. Then white would push here, hane. Hane and Tiger Mouse. Now there is a cutting point. If black plays here, then why can cut, cut, working. Is it Atari extend here goes out? Then oh, black's group is dead. This was strong, is it? When white blocked here, it was strong. But all of a sudden, there is a weakness. So instead of this black's move, black should defend this weakness. 
If black defend weakness, there will be no chance for black to attack this group. I can easily save it. That is working. Well, I can even play this one. I, would, I think AlphaGo would like this kind of move. Cut and connect. ER extend block to negotiate. Uh, trade. If black plays the other Atari, connect. Uh, give the Ponuki, whatever. And then uh, got a chance to separate three stones. Something like this. So this three was strong. But if I push and harnet to make this tiger mouse, then it is not strong anymore. White shape is way more elastic than before, so I can easily save it. So this is the power of, you know, let's say fixed idea. This was the fixed idea. It looks black's group is strong, so to block here would be difficult to find, but why well, did? And actual game, AlphaGo played this one. AlphaGo couldn't endure to give that Q10. So that was the game that White easily saves this group. Yeah. Interesting, is it? This looks strong, but he attached it, uh, touched the stone. And that looks very strong, but she again touches. Uh -huh. And uh, the group, it looks weak, but black played elsewhere. And this white group looks weak, but play elsewhere two times. So what the human believes that it is weak doesn't really look weak. Or when f human feels that it is strong, AlphaGo can find the weakness from that strong wall. So maybe we should check, we should uh, break the, the fixed idea of the, the shape's strength. I should really check many of uh, patterns that we believe that it is weak, so need an answer, but maybe not necessary. Uh, and we feel that it is strong, so don't touch, but maybe I should touch it like this. Yeah. Many interesting stuff. I forgot show to ask the question. Okay, so these are special teas that I found. Uh, I forgot place even higher level of practical moves. So there's no bubble in it. Instead of night move approach, uh, I forgot comes directly to the diagonal distance or attached directly. And one level higher probe in not the right timing plays the probing move. And humans fixed idea. In this kind of case, of course, I should play there, but that one hmm, goes away. And the uh, strengths of the group. Also, we should check once again. We feel that it is strong group. Some groups uh, shapes are strong, but maybe not. Some shapes are weak, but maybe not. Three, three. This is you know very famous one. Uh, we should check it in another chapter. Mm -hmm. The answer without deep reading. A bit difficult, but we can find the new way. For example, this one. If black come closer, where would you play? Just right after I got this move, I would imagine some moves. For example, A is one option. B uh -huh, is one good option. Or maybe invade to this area to check the uh -huh, black's reactions. So these kind of ways are the human ways. And AlphaGo found his own ways. Why play this one and attach on the top? Didn't think about attacking this A group and did not think about the point on the right side, but this one, the third way. So this was the game. Black made a connection, but white takes outside. It doesn't mean that it is better. I cannot say it is better, but at least why can AlphaGo can find the third way, which human cannot find? So this is the new, new way. It is not the road that we knew, but you made it to bigger uh, roads or make it as the like a highway. It is just you know we thought that there is a wall, so we cannot go. So we should go to A or B. But AlphaGo showed the C way. But that is really beautiful, in fact. This one. Black plate here and white covers it. How would you handle this black's two stones? This is the most beautiful shape that I found in these 50 games. The third way. Uh -huh. 
to play as yes, this one, is it? Or maybe you can attach and try to cut, or attach here, something like this, is it? This is the human's way, but AlphaGo played this move. And why you invade? Oh, okay, so you don't play, so I invade. How would you handle? And I forgot play this one. If you block, then I will block. So white makes the connection and this one. New road. Is it? Black did not try to do something in the bottom of the third line. Uh, to the left side or to the bottom lower side? Like, no. New road. This is the new way. Is it good or bad? I don't know. But it is one way that we did not even imagine. So go become more difficult, in fact. Very beautiful, isn't it? To find the, the new road, that kind of moves. I should dig more to find uh, more interesting examples. Yes, so flexible. It's like water. There's no... Now, we cannot see what it is. Sometimes play practical moves, sometimes play this kind of loose and beautiful shape moves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, uh, no, today, uh, today there was the uh, LG Cup. Do you know the LG Cup? The professional, the World, world, bad, uh, world Championship. And the top 32 players played 16 games. Uh, 32 players played each other. Won Song Jin and Ko or something like this. Uh, Lee Se-do played, and, but he lost. Uh -huh. In that game, just right after the Ko and AlphaGo's game and sharing the AlphaGo AlphaGo 50 games, there were tons of new moves, like 3-3 invasion. They just did it. In the move 10, move 13, they invade to 3-3 directly without approaching to the corner. Uh, corner. And this one, that was pretty interesting game which was played by uh, Lee Dong-hun, Korean Aitan, White, and uh, Tang Wei-shin. Uh -huh. White played, uh, Black played this one to uh, save the weakness. Where would you play if you're White to defend the weakness? I think this is the proper way. Why should defend here? Uh, well, if you want to focus on the upper left area, maybe this one. Well, okay, this one, that is good too. Mm -hmm. Actual game, why played here? Top pros level. He, he won, won uh, the big title in Korea, Lee Dong Hun. So he's the title holder. He played on the fifth line. Uh -huh. So black invade here. So how would you react it? You should react, is it? Because black is directly looking for this cut. Where would white play if it was AlphaGo? Would white uh, AlphaGo answer directly? Maybe not. White would no. AlphaGo would ask the the re question. Hmm? Okay, so white play this one, which is looking for the cut. Uh, this is the preparation of the cut. Something like this. So if you keep your eyes on this LG cup, which just passed the top thirty two and Top 16 will be played tomorrow or day after tomorrow. If you see the top level pl players' games, which is just right after AlphaGo Kajia's match, then I think you can uh, find many interesting stuff because they are inspired. Professional players, players are, they are inspired. So I'm sure that they would play a move that they couldn't imagine before. So it would be interesting. I'm so excited to see this future of Go. So please find it. I will share the link how you can download the SJ file. And I also will share this file, uh, SJ file as well. So please check it and enjoy uh, this future of Go to be so interesting. Okay. okay. Thank you for coming. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the lecture. And uh, enjoyed more of these AlphaGo games. Let's figure it out, the interesting part of Go. I believe that the Go game become way more interesting because there's one more door that we should look and check. Thank you and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.